a joke. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm already exhausted. So I need to hear a joke. Come on, tell me a joke. Something interesting, a very, uh, uh, maybe interesting story, interesting news, a joke. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Christo, can you tell us a joke? I have nothing. You have nothing. All right, let's get started. <laughs> I was going to teach you. I had a scooter. Nobody wants to speak. Nobody wants to share a news. Nobody wants to tell us a joke. What kind of speaking class is this? What is going on? Okay, just tell me about coronavirus. Yeah? So what's uh, on the news? Is it getting better here or not? Hmm? It's getting worse. It's getting worse. Why? How many cases? How many positive cases? Uh, uh, maybe one, one thousand or more. More than one thousand? Yes. Yeah, it's getting worse. Thank you. So uh, we're going to do just a quick review of model verbs. I have already taught you model verbs. Do you remember? Do you remember what is model verb? No. Why? No. Why you don't remember? Somebody please tell me what is model verb. I have taught you even in first, first semester, I guess. Yeah. So tell me what is model verb? You don't know? Crystal. Nobody. No answer. So model verbs are auxiliary verbs, also called helping verbs. Right? Also called helping verbs, like uh, can, could, will, shall, must, would, might, and should. And what else? Uh, might, may. So these are called model verb or auxiliary verb. Each one has different meaning. Like uh, we use them uh, in, in the sentences uh, by expressing possibility, obligation, uh, permission, what else? Um, yeah, ability, possibility, permission, obligation, all these. We are going to learn just uh, do review of few model verbs. I'm gonna ask you the right answer. Read the sentence and choose the right answer. Choose the correct option. Somebody please read the question. Question. Read this, read this. Wait a minute, bring back my voice. Can you read it please? Remember, you're in a library. You speak loudly. Okay. What is the uh, correct option? Don't have to, must, it, and are allowed to answer. Let me uh, tell you first. Like, can, if we use can, in our uh, in your in the sentence right as an auxiliary or model verb so it shows ability it shows ability for example um, jolly can swim 
or I can swim. It shows ability. And sometimes it shows uh, permission also. For example, can I use your phone? Can I use your pencil? Can I use your uh, notebook? It shows permission. And also sometimes it shows offer when you want to offer something. Can I help you? You're offering your help, right? So you're offering someone how to, that you want to help them. So can shows ability, permission and offer. Could, mm, could is uh, just similar with the can. It shows possibility, past ability, past ability, something that you have done in the past. Past ability, permission and request. For example, um, that story could be true. Who knows? That story could be true. Who knows? Or maybe you can say, uh, Can you hear me? Hello? There is a noise behind one of you. Hello? No one's behind me, we don't want to check. Okay, so could. If you, if you say that Sarah could swim when she was when she was four years old, it shows that. Yeah. Yeah. We have to find yeah. there is someone. Marvino. There was a noise behind you, so I had to mute you. And also, it shows permission when you say, could I use your phone? If you say, can I use your phone? It's same when you say, could I use? But when you say, could I use? If you use could, it's, uh, it's much more stronger. It's much more polite than using can for permission. So could I use your phone? And then uh, it says, uh, it shows request. Request for, for example, could you tell me the way how to get to the hotel? Could you tell me how to um, open the camera? Could you tell me how to sign out? <laughs> okay. And again, the next one is may auxiliary verb or model verb may. So it may also shows possibility and permission. If you use it like the president may come to the, uh, come to visit our office tomorrow, or somebody will come to visit your house tomorrow, in the may, uh, that's, it shows possibility, may, right? A teacher may come to your home tomorrow to visit your house. And if you use it like, may I borrow your pencil? May I borrow your eraser? May I borrow your hair clip? Or may I borrow your headset? So it shows permission. Might. Might is a slight possibility. We might win a prize, but I doubt it. We might win the game, but I doubt it. We are not so much sure, right? Something that you're not sure, you use might. And, uh, and also the past form of uh, may is might. So you can say the president said he might come. The president said he might come or the teacher said she might come. So it shows the past. And another one is uh, should. Should uh, give us advice. If you want to give advice to someone, so use should. For example, you should take a rest. You should take a rest. If someone is sick, so you advise them. You should take a rest. Or you should take an umbrella. It's starting to rain. You should take an umbrella. It's starting to rain. You're, going, you're giving advice, right? Or uh, 
another one what is it let me check shall shall is also like uh, shall is also the same offers and suggestion shall i uh, shall i order uh, a taxi for you shall i order a taxi shall i start the class shall i move to the next slide yeah, sure. Understand? Well, well is also monologue delivery verb. Okay, it's a well. Well is also model verb, and it shows like, uh, mm, for example, tomorrow I will be in the New York. <laughs> no joking. So tomorrow I will be in the New York. in all these things and have to also shows the ability and possibility, not possibility, have to is very much stronger. So in this sentence, remember you're in a library, you speak loudly. What do you think? Are you allowed to speak loudly in the library or not? No, no. Okay, so which answer, which option is correct? Mustn't, mustn't, mustn't. Mustn't. Okay. Remember, you're in a library. You mustn't speak loudly. Very good. So must is very much strong. Now, somebody read the sentence, please. Don't for it to take an umbrella in green later. Okay. I just give you the example. <laughs> if you paid attention, so you already know the answer. So what is the answer? Mine. Uh, don't forget to take an umbrella. It might. Might. Okay. Might. Might. Yeah. Might, because you're not sure, 100%, right? Why you cannot? So the answer is might. Don't forget to take an umbrella. It might rain later. Choose the correct option. Please read the sentence. Blah, 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 where jewelry, jewelry. To school. Are you allowed to wear your jewelry at school? No. So what is the answer? Is she allowed to wear jewelry? Jewelry. Yes. Uh, let's see. Yes, she is wrong. Is she allowed to? Is she allowed to? Okay. The answer is, is she allowed to wear jewelry at school? Is she allowed to wear jewelry at school? No. 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 Next. Read, somebody please read the sentence. No. Betty. Okay. I've just seen her. I've just seen her. What is the right option? The correct option. Can. 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 Can or can? Which one? Can. Betty can't be, uh, I have just seen her. Can't or can, which one? Can't. Oh, yep, the answer is can't. You can't. Be safe. Yes. 
sec because you're here <coughs> at the class. Next, can we read this? Evelyn? Evelyn. You turn the carpet. Tails already. Hmm? You vacuum the carpet. You? Something. Vacuum the carpet. Shells already cleaned the room. What is the answer? Don't have to. Don't have to. You don't have to vacuum the carpet. Shells already cleaned the room. Let's check. Yes, the right answer is don't have to because Somebody has already cleaned the room, then you don't have to. You don't have to do it again, right? So you don't have to vacuum the carpet. Felix, Fels already cleaned the room. Next. Aya, could you please read it? Larry, be at home. His car is outside. Okay. What is the answer? Larry may be at home or Larry mustn't be at home. His car is outside or Larry must be at home. His car is outside. Maybe. Larry? Maybe at home. His car is outside, right? May. Do so, you think it's May? No. Um, it's Something, not. You must be sure. If you see somebody's car is outside, then what do you say? That person must be home because his car is outside. So the answer is must. Larry must be at home. His car is outside. This is a uh, must is something uh, very strong. It shows possibility, but stronger than could, can, and other model verb. Because you're sure, you must be sure. Like if his car is outside, then how come he go out? Next, read this, please. I pick any electronic hmm? I'm not allowed. I take any electro electronic device on school trips. So what is it? Are you allowed to take your electronic device? I am not allowed. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed. I am not allowed. You're not allowed. You're not allowed, right? So yes. I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to take any electronic device. Yep. I'm not allowed to take any electronic device on, on school. Are you guys allowed? Can you go oh. to your So you're not allowed, right? Yes. It's very strict here. Okay, now who wants to read? Somebody please read, read, read. Whose pen is it? Yeah. I'm not sure. It's something misundress. Okay. Whose pen is it? I'm not sure. It be Sandra's. Oh. So what? Uh, cool. Cool. Um, um. 
cold. Hmm? It's cold. The answer is good. Good. Good, B. Sandra's. Let's check. Very good. The answer is good. Possibly. It possibly. We choose possibly. We cannot say must. If we say it must be Sandra's, it means you're very quite sure. You're quite sure about it. But when you're not sure, you already say, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So then we use could. It could be Sandra's. Okay, now read this. You be hungry. You've just eaten lunch. Okay. The answer is can. 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 You can be hungry. You've just eaten lunch. Let's check. Very good. And the answer is can't. You can't be hungry. You've just eaten lunch. But I'm hungry. I'm starving. I'm just starving right now. Next. Students dial up to four books at a time. Students borrow up to four up to four books at a time. Students borrow up to four books at a time. So what is it? Must student must borrow up to four yeah. books at a time, or students are allowed to borrow up to four books at a time, or students can't borrow up to four books at a time. Which one? Hello. Hello. Yes, students can't borrow up to four books at a time. Okay, students can't borrow up to four books at a time. Let's check. No? Uh -oh. Must, 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 uh, no, students are allowed, okay, allowed to borrow up four books, up to four books at a time. How many books are, are you allowed to borrow from the library? Have you Two borrowed one? Oh, is this like a Inside, inside your school, the library inside your school? Yes. So you're not allowed to borrow more than uh, one book? Yes. Okay. This meeting is good. In 10 minutes, we want to remove the university. Okay. So the students are allowed to borrow up to, up to four books at a time. This is different. They're allowed to buy up to four books, not only one. Okay, what is it? Somebody read it, please. Mr. Black, be away this weekend, but we are not sure. Okay, Mr. Black might be away this weekend, but I'm not sure, we are not sure, or Mr. Black has to be away this weekend, but we are not sure, or Mr. Black must be away this weekend, but we are not sure. Which one? Might. Might. Might be. Yes. If we say must, then we cannot say I'm not sure, because if you use must, it means you're sure about something. Maybe not 100%, but yeah, 92 
95%, you are sure. So here we use, uh, let's check, might. Yes. Maybe. Yes, again it shows possibility, but maybe 50-50. 50% you're sure and 50% you're not sure. Mr. Black might be away this weekend, but I'm, but we're not sure. And next one. The last one. Somebody read, please. He speaks Spanish fluently. He's been in married for only a week. Only a week. Okay. He's he blonde speaks Spanish fluently. He's been in married for only a week. He could speak Spanish fluently. He's been in married for only a week. Or he can speak Spanish fluently. Or he can't speak Spanish fluently because he was only in married for a week. Which one is right? Oh. Could. Can. 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 Yeah. Can. What do you think? If you go to the um, France, if you go to the France and stay there for one week, would you be able to speak fluently French? No. 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 No, I don't know. So the answer is can't. The answer is can't. He can't speak Spanish fluently. He's been in marriage for only a week. I can't speak uh, Indonesian language fluently. I've been here for three years. But still, but still I can't speak fluent. Okay. I was using my mobile. Okay, somebody read it, please. I was using my mobile. Let's be somewhere here. Okay, somebody read it, please. I was using my mobile a minute ago. It be somewhere here. I was using my mobile a minute ago. It it could be somewhere here, or it must be somewhere here, or it has to be. We cannot have use have to, right? Can we? With it, the subject is it. Can we use have to? Can we use have to? <sighs> it. <laughs> It has to be somewhere here. So let's check. Which one is right? Good, good. No? You are sure that you're just uh, talking or you're using your mobile phone just a minute ago. So eight. No. Right now you're sitting in your study room, right? And you're uh, having a Zoom class and uh, you may be playing with your pen or pencil and you put it down and then after a minute, what do you think? Where would the pencil, where would the pencil? The pencil must be there because you were just playing with that, right? You were just writing, you were just using. Must? Yes. So the answer is must because the pen or the phone, the phone only one minute ago, he was talking on the mobile phone, he was using the phone. After one minute, the mobile phone cannot walk. Can can a mobile phone walk? No. So it must be here. The mobile phone cannot walk. So it must be here because I was just talking or using my mobile phone one minute ago. So it must be here, must be here. And I guess the time is up. All right, read it, somebody, please.
bring our own music to the school disco. Bring our own music to the school disco. <laughs> The answer is, are we allowed are to bring our own music to school? Okay, the it's a question mark, okay? It's a question mark. So we do not say we are allowed to bring our own music to the school, the school, to the school. school. We cannot use we are allowed because it's not a question. It's not a question. You have to choose between these two, yellow and blue. Are we allowed to bring our own music to the school disco or are they allowed to bring our own music to the school disco? Which one? Are, are we are allowed we to bring our own music to the school disco? Okay, let me check. So are we allowed? Very good. And the answer is, are we allowed to bring our own music to the school disco? And that's it. That's all for today. I have, I do remember, I have taught you model verbs so many times. Even I record a video about model verb the first semester, but you guys still don't remember. What, what do you think? Uh, tell me about can. Somebody tell me about can. It shows, what does it show? Can shows ability, possibility, permission, right? Could shows possibility, permission. It shows the past possibility, or I mean, it shows the possibility, permission, and past ability. Right? Why you guys are not responding? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Time is up. Take care. Stay safe, healthy, and happy. Have a nice time. I would time. Uh, if I got time, time I will share. Yeah. Yep. yeah. All right. So if I uh, didn't forget, I will share the material on Google Classroom. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.